Good morning, and thank you for virtually joining us at Inglemore High School for this exciting groundbreaking. Well, we wish this could be in person. Uh, we're very excited to be able to share this event with all of you who have committed so much to this project. To have it finally underway is very exciting. For decades, a stellar music program has been a pillar of Inglemore High School and our community. The concert hall for the North Shore School District, housed here at Inglemore High School, represents the opportunity to provide our students and community a facility that truly captures the talent, skill, and preparation of our students while giving our families and community who have invested so much the audience experience worthy of that investment. For Inglemore specifically, following the pathway of Ted Christensen, Jim Rice, and many other outstanding music directors, we are so excited for the classroom facilities that this will provide our students and instructors. We are confident that Charlie Fix, Bruce Wilson, and Elisa Newhall will lead our talented and innovative students in creating amazing works of art in this building. This moment signifies the next step in what has been a collaborative process. Thank you to the architects, district employees, Inglemore High School staff, and Inglemore students who have been a part of the planning. We look forward to working with all of you as this project continues to move towards its completion. We also are looking forward to welcoming the North Shore School District community to what will be a beautiful concert hall on this site when it is completed. And now a few words from Chief Operating Officer Joe Paperman. Thanks everyone. So while we're groundbreaking today, this project has really already been in process for well over two years. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank a few of the people who've been involved during that, that time span. Um, this started in 2017, 2018, when the Capital Bond Task Force approved this project and recommended other projects for the bond. And then the voters who approved the bond in 2018 that made all the projects possible. Following the approval of the bond, the, the design team started to meet. And I'd like to thank some of the members of that team. Um, from the team, Kevin Ormus, Marissa Rutler, and Aaron McDonald from the architect firm of Huddleball and Ormus, and then Sam Comer from Cornerstone General Contractors. From the district side, the team was led by the project planner, Dree Ralph, with the assistance of two members of staff, uh, Sung Young and Ha Yang. I'd also like to thank the leadership from Inglemore High School that were heavily involved, Adam DeSautels and Sean Rainwater. And then finally, the people where the rubber hit the road, the music team that helped design the function and how this would actually support learning, Charlie Fix, De Debbie Montag, Alyssa Newhall, and Mark King. Thanks very much. And now we'd like to hear from a couple students who helped us with this project, Lucy and Zoe. Hi, my name is Lucy Toner and I'm a senior this year at Inglemore. I joined the committee in charge of designing this concert hall my freshman year, and now as I enter my senior year, they're breaking ground. I'm so proud to have been a part of this project, a project that will be a great resource for all future North Shore School District students. Unfortunately, I will have graduated by the time the concert hall is in use. However, I look forward to coming back and seeing future students perform in this beautiful space. I can't wait for everyone to see this wonderful addition to the North Shore School District. Hi, my name is Zoe Starikov and I'm a junior at Inglemore High School this year. And last year I had the honor of being one of the student representatives on the design team for Inglemore's new concert hall. Um, one thing I really enjoyed about the process was being able to communicate with my peers about what they wanted to see in the new concert hall. And I also learned more about myself as a musician and what I like and don't like about our current setup. I am personally looking forward to performing in the hall because the acoustics are going to be amazing. But I'm also really excited that all three programs, choir, orchestra, and band, are going to get their own space. When I think about the future generations of North Shore music students performing in a concert hall that I helped design, I feel so proud and accomplished and it just warms my heart that I was able to play a role in creating a space that all music students and all music people are going to enjoy and utilize for a very long time. And now a few words from school board president Bob Swain. Hi, my name is Bob Swain. I am currently serving as president of the North Shore School Board. I want to simply take this time to thank everyone that was involved with this project, um, staff, uh, community, um, former school board members that helped put this plan into place and to put the bond up. Um, and especially want to thank the voters of the community for, for allowing us to 
um, move forward with this project. It took a lot of thought and a lot of vision. And what the most thing, uh, one thing I'm most impressed about with the district as far as, far as projects go is um, this is really a um, this is really a monumental project for the community. It's not just a school board, school district building. This is a community building that will be used for generations to come. So thank you very much. And now a few words from School Board Director Sandy Hayes. Good morning. Thank you for the few of you that are here. Um, granted, I know for most of you, you were just so excited to have a reason to put pants on and to get out of the house. I really want to thank those of you that are taking the time to watch this on video. Um, who knew six or seven months ago that watching a video was going to become a chore? So we appreciate you taking the time. But I just most especially want to thank our voters. When we proposed this project three years ago, at that time, and it was an amazing, innovative, world-class school district, William Shakespeare, if music be the food of love, play on, imagine the possibilities moment. And you agreed with us. But now, in this time of illness and death and civil unrest, economic instability, unbreathable air, the fragility of our mental health, it's tempting to question, is this really where we want to be putting our focus? Recently, uh, I had a low moment, not rock bottom, because I feel like if I say that, I'm temp people are taking it as a challenge. I turned, it, turned to my piano. It didn't make everything better, but it did stop the spinning in my head. And it allowed me to connect with others across time and space. Music was my refuge. Oh, um, Maya Angelou, who of course says everything better, uh, said music was my refuge. I could crawl into the space between the notes and my back to loneliness. In fact, just about every brilliant person, from Confucius to Albert Einstein to Mr. Rogers, has spoken about the importance of music. This venue will give our students the chance to express themselves, to connect with others, tell their stories, and above all, heal. So to quote Abba, thank you for the music, for giving it to us. And now a few words from Superintendent Dr. Michelle Reed. Good morning, and thanks for joining us at this epic celebration, and epic for so many reasons. Uh, a big shout out and thank you to our voters and our community. In our house, we continue to value what's key and so important, um, and that is our community. We recognize that learning happens best in community, and this community concert hall, um, as it begins to grow, is going to begin to capture again the imagination and the talent and the spirit of the North Shore family. So thank you to all of our community members and voters for supporting this project and remembering that the arts are not something extra in North Shore. They are core to who we are and foundation to the experience we want each of our students to have. So let's together imagine the possibilities. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please enjoy this final music from the Inglemore Viking Band.